Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Um, today I wanted to discuss the Corinth um, and my thoughts on it. I don't think I ever really did a video showcasing it or any kind of builds or what I thought about it. This, ain't, this isn't an, an official review or anything. It's just a build that I came up with and um, basically my thoughts on how I've changed my mind about the weapon. Now, originally, I thought the weapon was kind of niche. It was it was re it was really satisfying to fire and then hear and look at the pump action because I'm a, I'm a, a killing feels kind of guy. I guess you could call it. It's like um, where you um, you you like the feel of guns in video games, or you have some sort of um, satisfaction of using them if they have the right sound, the right uh, visuals, stuff like that. Um, Warframe sadly lacks a lot of that for me. Um, DEs have ruined many weapons for me that I used to really like, like the Kraken, the Gorgon. I still like them, but, um, using them is just isn't as fun anymore because of their nerfs. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a rant for some other time. This is about the Corinth. Um, so I had a lot of fun with it, but I couldn't really get it to work for me. Um, the grenade's obviously useful. And originally I thought the best way to make a Corinth was to, uh, against armor was to use this air blast grenade to weaken enemies because it has that high status chance, weaken them up and then get up close and uh, pop them with the main shotgun because um, this, the main shotgun cannot reach 100% uh, status. So you're not going to get very many procs um, with this shotgun mode. So against armor, um, the, this main shotgun is actually extremely poor against heavy armor, like very bad. However, I recently came up with this build, and I found it to actually be surprisingly powerful, like very much so. Um, so we have blunderbuss, and pri uh, uh, before I even start, you can use the uh, what's that mod called? Laser sight for a little bit more crit chance, but I like consistency. Uh, so we have 57% crit chance, and then my prime ravage is not maxed, but it still gives us a 5.0 crit multiplier. And then we also have vigilante armaments. Uh, which combines with Hell's Chamber for multi-shot. Now this increases our pellets, which is important because with shotguns, critical chance, unlike status chance, is per pellet. So each pellet has a 57% chance to crit. And when it does crit, it does 5 times damage. Now with Hunter Munitions, each of those pellets, each, each of those 50% or 57% chance pellets have a 30% uh, chance to apply a slash proc. Um, and it basically turns this weapon into a mini Tiger's Prime. It's actually very powerful. Um, and if you do manage to get a viral proc, say you're up against a really heavy enemy that actually won't die in one shot, if you manage to get a viral proc on them, then those slash procs that you're going to get will bleed them out in a single shot. Now I'm going to show this against a very heavily armored level 155 Napalm. Now there's multiple ways you can do this actually. If you want to make sure that you get viral, you can use the air blast first and then try to get that viral proc, then run up to them and then shoot them just once or twice in the face. And if you're lucky, before the viral proc ends, you can see the slash procs are still pretty significant. Um, if you're lucky, you can get them killed before the time. But as you can see, even the air blast isn't that reliable. So let's just shoot them in the face a couple times. As you can see, the slash procs are actually pretty significant. Um, like I, I said, it was as comparable as the Tiger's Prime. That's kind of a lie, but it is still powerful. Um, let's just try that again. Let's just focus directly on the face. Um, let's not worry about the air blast, and let's see if we can kill him in one clip. Oh, we might. Yep, easily. Okay. So... Level 155 is a big deal. Now, I'm going to show you why this build is good um, and why you should use it. Now, I'm actually going to take off a couple mods, or I'm going to redo this mod configuration so it's no longer a Hunter Munitions build. So basically what I've done is I've simply replaced Hunter Munitions with Blaze to give us some heat damage and overall damage increase. Now, because we don't have the guaranteed slash procs, um, you're going to see the damage significantly lowered, despite the fact that we've actually increased our damage and added um, another damage type. As you can see, I'm not getting any slash proc so far. And I've already used one mag. There's two. 
And this this is how I would normally run my Corinth. And I'd be like, well, this weapon's actually kind of sucks. Like, why would I use this over my Riven modded Sobak even? Which is actually pretty damn good. And as you can see, now that now they got the viral proc, that's actually very bad. And as you can see, now he just gained all his health back. So I just wasted all that magazine because he just gained all that health back from the viral proc ending. And this will probably take another couple magazines. Oh god, no viral, please. Okay, there. That was actually very poor, as you could see. But with those slash procs, it becomes a beast. Now, obviously, Riven mods for this weapon are great. Um, but as you could see, you don't really need a Riven mod for this weapon for it to be good. All you need is Hunter Munitions. Uh, let me find that mod to put it back on. Uh, it was right here. <clears throat> as you can see, I lose quite a bit of damage, but that damage didn't do crap because um, the, of the heavy armor. Now, you could also build this for corrosive. Another, another way I used to build this is you'd build this for corrosive. You'd use the air blast to strip armor a little bit because even one even one armor pro or uh, corrosive proc will let you do a decent amount of damage increase um, to something with such high armor but you'd have to use the air blast a few times and then you're already up to maybe one or two rounds in your magazine and then when you fire then you have to reload and if it's an apalm they stomp the ground and you fall over so um, it's actually a really fun weapon. I've been using this a lot more because of it. I'm not sure if I'll ever get a ribbon for it. Um, I do have some very good ribbons for my other weapons. Now, Dracoon. Oh man, I've been working on this one for so long. I mean, obviously, people people have like ribbons with hundreds of rolls, and they they're like, oh man, it's gonna take me forever. It feels like forever for me because I really have a resource booster, and Kuva farming is painful for me because I don't really have much time to play. So. Right now, it's status chance, cold, and electricity. This thing is a fucking beast. Like, it's very powerful, but it's not as powerful as it could be. Now, this is not comparable to Tiger's Prime either. I'm actually going to show this. Why not? Let's just show this real quick. Just to give you a comparison of what I'm talking about. Now, ideally, uh, well, I'll talk to what I want ideally after this. Should only take a few shots. Obviously, it's blast, so it will knock them down. But this is a freaking Dracoon. And I just killed him. That quick. And even better, which is actually kind of funny about this thing, is it, it basically acts like a sniper. So people talk about the Tiger's Prime being a sniper. Uh, uh it's a Dracoon. Because the Dracoon has no damage fall off. So all I have to do, well, it's still a little hard. But eventually, I'd actually be able to kill this Napalm quicker than a Tiger's Prime at this range. But what's even funnier about this is even this quick shot will kill him pretty quickly. Because it just strips the armor. Every single pellet it procs. Obviously, you're getting less damage, so it's going to take more than uh, it's going to take about twice as long. But as you can see, that's pretty good for a quick shot, and it's almost rapid fire. Uh, but basically, ideally, what I'd want is status chance. I think you need at least 100% status chance um, to be able to reach the 100% before multi shot. But instead of cold and electricity, I would want multi shot and toxin to boost that corrosive damage as much as possible and give me as many pelts as possible so hopefully on the very first shot I can actually strip all the armor from the enemy and then bleed them with slash procs. So this is very fun. I also have the Sobek. Um, I won't test this. I'm just going to show this um, in case you're wondering what it's like. I actually love this. It gives me 268% damage and 78% magazine capacity which actually increases the magazine from 20 to 36, and even though it has a recoil, it's not that bad because of how slow it fires. And this thing's also a killer. I do, I do hate that I don't have acid shells on here, but I, I don't want to give up sh uh, sh shattering justice because that lets me get 100% status. Without it, I can't get it. So there's really nothing I can replace, which is kind of sad, but that's okay because this thing still kind of kicks ass. Um, so yeah, this was supposed to be about the uh, Corinth, but I guess it's a triple kind of discussion with shotguns. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.